week, the story of a little girl nicknamed Baby Sabi made headlines. She's a micro preemie who weighed just about half a pound at birth, and now, now she's home with her parents in California. Well, 18 years ago today brought you the story of another micro preemie. That's when doctors at the University of Iowa hospitals and clinics helped bring Courtney Jackson into the world. She weighed less than a pound, but even then had the will to survive. Courtney Jackson's road to graduation was not an easy one. Courtney was born prematurely on June 19, 2001. Her parents, Chris and Jennifer, knew that their micro preemie newborn, the smallest of all premature babies, would have to fight for her life. Courtney. Hi. During her pregnancy, Jennifer was diagnosed with enclampsia, which caused her to have multiple seizures. Basically, the body was reacting to Courtney's presence in her body. And so the only way they can solve it is to go ahead and deliver the baby. Concerned for the health of both Jennifer and Courtney, doctors performed an emergency C-section. Doctors told Chris and Jennifer that Courtney only had a 50-50 chance of survival. Then, at just one month old, the family learned that Courtney also had a heart defect, which would require surgery on her acorn-sized heart. The surgery was a success. And five months later, Courtney and her parents were on their way home. We had the fear of when she was first born, not knowing if she was going to survive from day to day. And then you look at her now and you're thinking, she's just a normal baby now. Hey, Courtney. When Courtney was three years old, today followed up with the Jackson family to see how she was doing. And now at almost 18 years old, Courtney continues to amaze her doctors and family. Courtney Rose Jackson. Just last month, she proudly put on her cap and gown to receive her high school diploma. It's still hard to believe that it's been 17 years, you know, that, that she graduated high school. And Courtney says despite everything she went through early on in her life, she's just like any other teenager. I'm a very shy person when you first see me, but when I'm around my friends, you get to know the real me, and that's a very sarcastic, stubborn person who... We'll tell you how it is. And as for her future, her mom is optimistic. When I look at Courtney now, I see that I think God has a plan for her. And I just, I can't wait to see what she's going to do in her life. For my future, I want to be a writer or something in that field, like journalism maybe. I want to leave my mark on the world as like just a positive voice that people can turn to. And with family and faith by her side, Courtney has the confidence to forge her own path. We have a sign that says, you call it chaos, I call it family. That's a very accurate representation of our family. I feel like faith has played a big role of just constantly there when you need to lean on it or when you don't. I guess this is a constant reminder, like, everything's going to be okay. Like, just calm down, breathe, you're going to be fine.